I lost my state of flow at that. My phone seemed to have cut it all off. Um, but I just want to say how important it is to put those big goals ahead of yourself and then little goals and keep working towards those um, to develop a team of support, positive people, not ones that are going to do it for you or tell you how to do it or make you do it their way. You have a way inside of you that is your way and it's up to you to find that and in the finding of that you learn so many things about yourself so this is what I try and encourage um, people to find you know the truth and the wisdom that they're holding within about the journey and I do believe in a way that's quite hard to conceptualize that where we are is a it, there's lessons to be learned in this no matter how far down we are with our health challenges there is something beneficial to come out the other side and it's up to us to find that and to to, to follow our our path with it not everybody is ready to heal not everyone is ready to make better choices for themselves and if you find that you're continually stuck or your thoughts are in that negative place you have to have to ask yourself well why am i still stuck here um what part of me isn't ready to move forward or is it just fears or am I ready to do this but just not believing in myself quite quite enough and how do you find that self-belief I haven't got it for you you have to find it you have to find it um through the little steps so every time you achieve something that you didn't think you believe in you will have then the confidence to keep going so initially there's no proof it's blind faith um but with time it gets easier um, build a support team of people that you trust um, surround yourself with positive people listen to positive podcasts people experts talking in your area um, learn from them but mostly they could be talking about any any random crap as long as it's got that I feel good I feel like I, I can take on the day um, I feel positive about myself um, I've shifted my thoughts back to what really really matters here um, even just feeling energized by listening to the right music gives you the drive to then go on and, and, and do things. Writing yourself little goals for the week, for the day, um, doing other things that help bring that motivation into the things that really challenge you. So for some, they might be exceptional at business. Um, apply that to healing your mind and your body or achieving and in sport. Or some might be exceptional at sport, but crap at business. <laughs> Generally, you tend to see that people thrive in all areas, but we all have weaknesses. So you have to take where you're strong and apply what worked for you there into where you're weak. Um, which is why, you know, people laugh at someone who decides to go and run a marathon or do a big endurance event or do these challenges that not everyone gets especially if your family isn't sporting but the skills that you learn there the self-belief the respect for your body and and what it's doing this all translates back into your life um if creativity does this and art um do it and bring it back into your life but don't forget the skills that you have in other areas can be pulled across into the areas that you feel weak in and that you may not have the confidence um Building bridges with your family um, to, we, we, we have these thoughts and perceptions and stories going on in our minds. So shuffling through those um, often is something that helps physical healing. Um, when you're ready, they seem to go hand in hand. Um, but yeah, just know that I, um, I do get it. I'm not in your shoes, but often I can feel what it's like to be in your shoes um and i'm not just sitting there like your teacher trying to tell you what to do I'm, I'm really trying to work with you and connect with you and make it all easier for you so you know the more we break down